Well, good morning, friends. It's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living, and it is 9.24 in the morning. The fire's going just on a slow roast kind of thing, because uh, it's not freezing outside, but it's chilly in the house, and it's chilly outside. But I'm about to head to town. My husband actually brought Maze to school today, which was wonderful. Uh, all the kids caught the bus, which is wonderful. And I'm going to go into that nothing fancy furniture. If you see my last couple of videos, I told you I would need, I was trying to get a hold of them, got a hold of them. And they have a giant appliance box for me because I do a Christmas cozy December 1st. And that's when I wrap it in Christmas paper. I cut a door in it, line it with Christmas lights on the inside, and the kids can use it as a clubhouse, a time machine, a spaceship, anything like that. And it's just here for a month. But it's always a surprise, December 1st. Like, they don't see it. They wake up December 1st, and all of a sudden, it's there. So I was talking to them yesterday, and they open at 9.30. 9.25 now. <laughs> I want to go in. I'm going to take the truck, because there's a old tire on the back and some ramps on the back. So the big box, I'll put those in the box so it doesn't blow off the back. It'd just be easier than trying to fold down the seats. I just can't put my body through that. So I'm gonna go in, do that, come right back out and have the day. Now, I might call my dad to see if he might be able to pick Maze up, maybe. And then my husband can pick Maze up from my dad's. We'll see, I don't wanna push it. Uh, Dad certainly doesn't ever mind. I could ask him every day and he would, but you know what I mean? I don't want to take advantage or anything like that, but uh, he likes to do that at least once a week. So I could use this as that day. So when I uh, get home, I can stay home. Evie is coming over today. I think Medea works for 12 or 2. I better check that. And I'll just get her to drop him off instead of me picking him up. It's all good. So anyways... Let's hit the road, Toad. I'm in town, guys. I had to park a little ways away from the freaking furniture store because it seems to be busy downtown today. Let me get out. I'm right on the waterfront. You see the Digby Wharf over there? And the furniture store is up there. Just a little ways. But you can see it got a tire and some four-wheeler ramps up there. Oh boy, hopefully they have a box ready now, like I should have called before I left, but I was just thinking I'll go in now, and that way I can be back early. I might do a freezer meal tonight for supper, just because, well, just because, but yeah. Anyways, anybody that's from around here, there's Club 98. <laughs> but we'll go in and see what they have to offer. Offer. Of course, two parking spots opened right in front of the freaking store as soon as I walked up here. Oh, well, the guy's on the phone, so I'll wait. But they have a whole bunch of stuff. But I see a box there. I wonder if that's the one. That's a good size one. We'll see what came in it. Got it on the back. There's two four-wheeler ramps. The guy helped me, which is awesome. And a tire on top of those, so... <laughs> yeah, I haven't figured out what was in it yet, but... It's all good. We got it. It's not as big as the one last year, but that's fine. That's fine. That was the first year we ever had a refrigerator box, but this is perfect. All right, let's hit the road again. All right, guys, I'm home now. I just made a little pit stop in the house because I had to go like a racehorse, but I'm going to open the shop. Just we have a wonky garage door. I've got to go in and do a little fidget thing with it to make it open, and I'm going to put the box in here just so I don't have to maneuver it down the basement steps and all that stuff. That would just be too much for me if I can get this door open. Well, if I can get this door open there. Ah, four wheelers, four wheelers, a whole bunch of stuff in here. But the box can sit on top, so it's all good. There, fits perfect. <laughs> just on top of the four wheeler. All right, it's 10.30, it's all in the shop. Whew, that was harder than I thought. It wasn't heavy, but just awkward. Um, I bought myself a coffee while I was in town. I did have one this morning. And I got Angus going this morning, too. The stuff, the coffee table still up on the couch and stuff. But, uh, yeah, that was before I started talking to you guys. And, yeah, he does a pretty good job. 
But if you ask my review of a Roomba, I don't want to talk bad about it, but maybe it's just our house. <sighs> Poor Angus. He tries his best. He really does, but he doesn't get everything. He gets most stuff, <clears throat> but it, maybe it's just the layout of our house, of all the furniture and the rooms. And, you know, maybe if I had three Roombas going at once, but I can't afford to buy three Roombas. If I could, I would. <laughs> I really would. But, um, yeah, he does a really good job from what he can do. Um, so it's on both, both of us. He does his best. I try to remove obstacles. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But I haven't actually brought my Dyson out to vacuum in a, a long time, which is good. It's giving my body a rest and stuff. <coughs> oh, sorry. I have a tickle in my throat. So anyways, I'll go around with my little baby Dyson handheld one and get the the stuff that he misses but yeah anyways he's over there may has got a kick out of out of me this morning he was laying here on the couch and i said oh i gotta change angus's bum which means empty the little cartridge or whatever and he just got a kick out of that but <coughs> oh boy anyways those presents if you watch my video yesterday are still over there that fedora hat hat is in that gold box over there if you can see that and I gave him a box of King Cole tea which I had here in my pantry it was brand new hasn't been opened but I still have lots of tea from you guys that have sent me tea bags so I was like oh I'll give him a thing of tea because I know my dad likes tea and he's in that age range <coughs> he might like tea too so I gave him a box of uh, King Cole tea bags so that's wrapped up in there and yeah, everything's ready to rock, except for the craft uh, craft stuff. I want the kids to paint some ornaments for him. I'm hoping he has a little tree. I could go to the dollar store and get like a little tabletop one, but I don't want to do that if he already has a tree. And for them to make some crafts. So we might do that today if I can muster up the energy to clear off the dining room table. <clears throat> and get that done. I could have stopped at the dollar store while I was in town because I'd like to get a little festive box. You know, those decorative boxes. Gosh, <clears throat> my throat, jeez. And I'd put those in him, like not wrap it so he could just open it up and display them in his apartment or whatever, wherever he lives. But yeah, we'll see. If we don't do that today, we'll do it tomorrow. But I'm going to finish my coffee and go down in the basement and see what freezer meal I have. Or I do have chicken in the fridge. I'm just not feeling it today. I'm not like whole chicken legs, thighs, things. I could bake it. We'll see. We'll see. So I'll be back. Mom? Well, Evie just got here. Say hi, Evie. Mom? Oh, I know. I still have all the stuff up from yeah. when Angus was doing his thing. I'll get it down. Mm. Can you say hi? Hi. hi. Yeah. He, he has a bit of a cold, but I'm going to put some cartoons on for him, and we're just going to have a cuddle for a little bit. I don't think he's had a nap yet today, so if he gets sleepy, we'll go up and have a little snug. All right, guys, it's 1.39. I got Abby to sleep upstairs. I kind of had a little rest myself. I've been up there almost an hour, but I snuck out while he was still sleeping. I still haven't done anything for supper yet, so I'm going to go see what I can do. So let's go check out the kitchen. Okay, I went the easy route. I just put chicken on a couple pans, covered them with Montreal chicken spice. I'm going to stick them in the oven for, well, these are big old chicken leg thighs for at least an hour and a half at 350. We'll, we'll check them. Well, Evie just woke up. I had to change his bum, change his pants. Did you have a good sleep, Evie? Yeah. Yep. Did you dream about anything? Yeah. What did you dream about? What did you dream about? I always ask the kids this in the morning. He was over there playing with those little stuffed reindeers on the piano bench. Oh, they're so nice. All right. It's about 2.43. I think I hear the bus. Do I? Oh, I don't see it. Are the girls? No, they're not here yet. They should be here any second now. But my kitchen smells like chicken. <laughs> I need to rotate the pans when that buzzer goes off and put it in for another 45. But yeah, the curls should be home any second now. Let me turn you around. Oh, Evie followed me out. <laughs> Hi. 
Um, yeah, Dad called me today. He called me back. I was talking to him this morning. He said I got mail. So I said, oh, I'll pick it up when I go get mail. Come out here, Abby. Come on, Bubba. And I said, I'll pick it up when I go get Mays. And he said, yeah, that's that's good. I guess I got a couple parcels and stuff. So um, then he called me back, I don't know, an hour later. He said, do you want me to pick Mays up from school? I said, sure, if you want to, because my husband's working in town and he could pick them up after, after work. Oh, I see, I see. So I sent my husband a message to make sure he picks up Mays. And he'll pick up the mail later on we'll have a cup of tea together because i'm looking forward to it uh yeah so that's why i didn't have to go into town this afternoon and i could let evie sleep which was awesome <coughs> but anyways the girls should be home soon that chicken's doing its thing i do there's no more beef and broccoli left or noodles or pork fried rice left from the other day if you watch my cooking buffet kind of thing but there is a freezer bag of white rice. So we're gonna have white rice. The kids put, can put soy sauce on it or eat it plain. They like it either way. And I'll open a jar of vegetables and uh, that's what they're having for supper. So that's easy peasy. Now that I actually got the chicken in the oven, I'm complaining like it's so hard to do. It isn't, you just take it out of the pack, rinse it, put it on a pan, throw some spice on it and stick it in the oven. Just some days I don't feel like doing anything like that. Potatoes, I find, are better with chicken. <laughs> Myself, personally, not that I really eat very many potatoes these days. I know, just leave it, Bob. Just leave it. I'll bring it down in a minute. The coffee table's still up on the couch. He's trying to put his bottle up there. Um, but I want to use up that rice, and that'll be all gone. So that's good. Um, and then, yeah, the kids can have supper. And then we'll have a cup of tea later. I think Madea only works till 6 o'clock tonight, so that, that'll be good. She'll come and pick him up. The kids will, will have already had supper, and hopefully I can sit down and uh, have a proper cup of tea with you guys. Last time I had a mail call, I had a Tim Hortons coffee cup, <laughs> which there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not knocking Timmy's. No, I'm not. But it's nice to have pretty teacups because they like to come out and play and dance and stuff. I'll blow the roof off the mother. Yes, I will. That means when I say that, I mean I'm taking the roof off the or the lid off the toy box. Oh, can you lift it? Lift it. Ooh. I know. I'll get it. That's the downstairs toy box. Oh, do you want some? Want to say something? Yeah. What do you want to say? You want to say? Yeah, the box. Yeah. Do you want me to blow the roof off the mother? Yeah, okay. Anyways, I'll take that off. The girl should be home soon. I thought I heard the bus, but I guess I didn't. And uh, when that buzzer goes off, we'll rotate the chicken. I just, the pans were too big to put them side by side, so I put one on the top, one on the bottom, and then I'll put the bottom one on the top and the top one on the bottom for the rest of the time. And uh, then I'm just gonna nuke the, micro, the, the rice and yeah, heat up some some vegetables and I just put some wood in the fire too so yeah laid back kind of day but I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying it All right the buzzer just went off see I'll switch them around and we'll put them back in I'm sure I heard the bus this time yeah I did where's your jacket it's not cold out well it's kind of chilly out mom this is the worst month of all Look why at this. You see that? PJ day. And I can't wear my new onesie to it. Why? Mother. Because it's going to well, come on Christmas. It's going to come on. You know that onesie you ordered? It, oh, but you got the other ones that you just got from uh, oh, Tammy. Oh, true. Yeah. So you can wear that one. Um, Next PJ day, day, I, I'm probably going to wear these funny ones. Yeah. My friends won't recognize me. <laughs> Let me guess, we're having pizza. No. It we, exactly pizza. No, we had pizza yesterday. Chicken. Chicken. Mom, Chicken and rice. Pizza. Devin's no. leaving. Can I show him? No. Oh, it's cute. It is cute. It's a little heart one of her friends made. You are my best friend. Or, I love you. You are my best friend. She doesn't want me to show you. Oh, I love you from her friend Riley, I think. But I'm playing with trucks. Truck. 
All right. Well, I just got off the phone for like a 45 minute conversation with my sister in law. I just love her so much. I really do. I could just vent and vent and vent and vice versa. And Misha has been handing me. She wants to change Evie's bum because it's saggy. But I just changed him, you know, an hour ago. But I said, yep, go ahead. But I know it's going to be a wrestling match, but we'll see. <laughs> Oh, Misha. She's aspiring to be a babysitter like Manly. That's that's what it is. But, yeah. Evie's a bit of a difficult case. So, we'll see. <laughs> what? Well, oh, well, Misha's trying to do the deed. And he is fighting her every second. Evie, no scratchy scratchy, or pokey button, okie dokie. The sticky parrots go on the back and then you'll undo them and put them on the front. I'll put a blur over this so you can't see his bum. Bum. Now just lift it up and cover them. Perfect. Now do the sticky part. Good job, Evie. <laughs> oh, put it back on drum. This is all the delicate balance. I should say the picture of the on the diaper is always on the front. Come on, Mish, you can do it. No, Evie, hold no. still. You got to be super fast. I know it's your first time, so it's takes a little while. Easy. <laughs> Just easy. Just a minute, Evie. He's getting frustrated. <laughs> no, you get a new bum bum. Get a new bum. He's twisting himself around. <laughs> easy. Down. Now do it fast. There. And put the sticky part up. And then we can adjust it after. And then you can put his pants back on him. It's just like a sticker. You peel it off. Oh. Yep, just like that. And put it up. Good job, Mish. Do the other side. How you making out, buddy? Are you the guinea pig today? No. No. Your auntie's changing your bum bum. Here's his pants. You gotta turn them right side out. Now that's gonna be the big battle. Getting his pants back on him. <laughs> Yay! Misha and Evie did it. I just had to help her a little bit with the pants. But she did it all by herself. You think you're ready for babysitting? Yes. Well, do a little more work for a couple of years and maybe. Well, yeah, seven years old. She changed her bum. Changed his bum. <laughs> Good thing it wasn't a real stinky one. <laughs> no way. It is 3.55. My son just got home and took two chicken legs and a bunch of rice and brought it out to eat because he's hungry. But I'm heating up the corn and beans. I had canned down in the basement. I found a whole box of home canned corn from 2017 I didn't realize I had. So I'm heating up that. A jar of that. Uh, uh, garden fresh beans. I'm heating up that. And they'll have rice and chicken and veggies. And there's pickles if they need pickles. But yeah, I'll cut these. Like I'll tear off the drumstick and, you know, try to tear off the meat for Evie and stuff like that. I'm not going to give him a whole chicken leg because he won't eat it. But yeah, that's the last of the Chinese food. All right, this is a really messy setup. <laughs> but I deboned a couple of the chicken things just so I can divide it on the plates easily. Um, there's the beans, the corn, there's four chicken legs left. I'm going to give two to my husband and my son already got, my teenager already got his chicken. So that's fine. So if there's two left over. I might have one and then some rice and I'll dig out the soy sauce if they want soy sauce on it. But that's what their supper is tonight.
All right, here's the little kid plates. This one's Mazaya's. She has some chicken. She doesn't really like corn very much. She just doesn't mind beans, and she's not a big fan of rice. This one is Mally. She likes chicken. She likes everything, so I put lots on hers. This is Misha. She loves corn. She likes rice. She loves chicken. Not a huge fan of beans. This is Maze's. A little bit of corn, a little bit of rice, a little bit of beans, and a whole drumstick and some extra chicken because he likes to eat off the bone. And I just did a little play for Evie. He's going to have seconds if he wants some, but I've learned over the past couple of years it's better to just give him a little bit at first and then give him more after because it's just a disaster waiting to happen if you load up his plate. So that's what supper is. Good morning guys. It's the next day. I'm sorry I didn't get a video up yesterday, but I was having technical difficulties. It is about quarter after seven in the morning. My husband just went into Sisabu Coffee to get a coffee. Um, I'm going up the valley with him because he's renting a car for his work for some sort of something or other. But I need to drop him off to get the rental car and um, then I'll drive the car back down to his office and I'm getting Marquise. Let me turn you around. I'm getting Marquise to take the van in this morning to drop Mays off at school. And then when I get back into town here in about two hours, I'll uh, pick up the van from Marquise's school. And I'm debating on whether to pick Mays up just right away because it's a CLT day, which means it's an early dismissal day and Mar Mays would be done school at 12 o'clock. So by the time I get home, I just have to turn around and come back in 45 minutes later or something. So uh, I don't know. But anyways, that's what's going on. I still have those packages at home I didn't open yet. I was hoping to do that. Um, so we'll do that at some point today. I'm squishing yesterday and today together, at least partially. And um, yeah, we need to get those Christmas cards and crafts done because tomorrow I gotta drop off that senior secret Santa present. So anyways, yeah, but I'll be back. All right, I'm at the hot school now, waiting for Marquise to show up with the van. He's not there, but I called Dad because he's supposed to drop Maze off at his house, but he's not there yet, so um, yeah. I'm just gonna stand here in the lobby, pretend I'm a high school student. I'm seeing all the kids go to class and stuff like that. I'm just talking softly because there's kids all the stuff all around me, but it's so funny. I have my backpack on my back and I'm just living vicariously, <laughs> pretending I'm still a teenager. All right, I've been here for about 15 minutes. I'm getting sick and tired of this. Oh. Yeah, he should be here soon, but all the kids have gone to school and to their classes now, so it's just little old me standing in the hallway. Oh, I ran out of space on my phone, but I just called Dad and Maze was just dropped off, so he should be... Marquis should be on his way over here now. So I'm going to jump right out of the van, or out of the school and get in the van and go over and have a cup of tea with Dad and have a visit and stuff. So, yeah, anyways, I'll be back. Just seen a red van drive by, so hopefully he drives right up and doesn't try to park. Cause... Oh, I don't know. We'll see. He doesn't need to park. No park. Just drive down here. Yeah, he's parking way up there. Of course he is. Oh jeez, I have to walk in the rain. Right, oh my flash is on, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. This is still kind of warm, but oh, i just have a little visit, then we'll head home. Oh, it's working, perfect. It's 11.50 guys, and I'm just making myself a cup of tea. I just put a pot of potatoes on the stove. I'm going to do that for tomorrow's video but it's all going to be the same day but i'll make sure i cl clarify that he's a singing jingle bells <laughs> but i wanted to have a cup of tea with you guys now the girls will be home in a little while probably a little over an hour so i thought i'd have a cup of tea with you now and open some fan mail not fan mail that sounds not very good some friend mail friend mail Forget I said that. Friend mail. Um, and uh, while I was at Dad's today, 
maze. Turn it down a notch. Uh, he went down to check the mail, and I got three more pieces of mail. So I have some boxes to open, and I have some envelopes to open. So I'm excited. I'm excited. But first off, first and foremost, because she is just screaming at me to say hi to you guys. Look at this beauty. I'm sitting on the opposite side of the table today just to switch it up a notch. I should turn that Christmas tree on so it looks festive. Maze, can you turn that Christmas tree on? Just plug it in. Do you know how to do that? He knows how to do that. He knows he's not allowed to play with plugs, but he can do something like that. Look at that. I'll get a close-up picture of her after. But she is, she is absolutely stunning stunning i don't know what kind of flower i love that you guys tell me what kind of flowers that are on these on these um teacups good job bub good job but she's very dark very fallish there's like blackish grayish dark green colors and she has i see well you can see right here on my hand no. A solid glow. No, okay, just a minute, Bob. Just a minute. Uh, a gold slipper down here. It's like, it's not a, li a little thin line. It's like a solid. She has gold up at the top. Ooh, this is hot. But she has solid gold on the top of her shoulder. And then on the sides down here. But it's white down the back, if you understand what I'm saying. But you can see she's a curvy girl. She's curvy. Curve. Curve. And all here is rigged. Just love her. Just love her. She wanted to come out and play with uh, play with us today. So I'm just having a hot cup of tea. Straight up tea. No milk or anything. But tonight, which you'll see tomorrow if you watch it, I'm making potato hash and bologna and vegetables for supper. <laughs> hey, don't knock it till you try it. It's good. Potato hash with onions fried in some real butter and salt and pepper. Oh, it's heavenly. I cooked a whole full pot of potatoes because, ooh, if you just cook a little, they're growling for more and there's no more left. So I might as well cook a whole bunch. So the mail that I got today, I'll do this now. This is from Melina. Brooks at Cooking and Crafts, um, all the way from Kentucky. Wowzers. Uh, Melina, I really hope you had a really fantastic Thanksgiving. I was so excited for you guys. I didn't get a chance to really say, but all of my American friends out there, I really hope that you had a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. You guys, if you've been watching for a while, you know Thanksgiving's like I don't know if it's my favorite holiday, but I love hosting my big fat Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, Christmas, ho uh, Halloween, Easter. I love them all. I love them all. But I really hope you and all of my American friends had a Thanksgiving that you uh, felt loved because we love you. We love you. Oh, my arms look humongous. My arm looks like, ooh. I'm rocking it, Maze. Wow. I'm a bodybuilder. I wish I was a bodybuilder. But anyways, I really hope that your Thanksgiving was uh, one for the books. You got your belly full. You had a couple naps. You woke up. You recognize how thankful you are and how much we are. I know there's ups and downs in life, peaks and valleys, uh, mountains to climb and stuff. But... We're so lucky to live the lives that we live. So I'm so thankful, even though it's not my Thanksgiving. I'm so thankful for all of you guys. I really am. But anyways, I got something from Melina. Oh, welcome Christmas. Look, Maze. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Yes. What do you think that dog's name would be? There's a dog on this. I'll show you. Louie. Louie? Yeah. That's a good name. Oh, there's a pup named Louie. Hope the season's happiness oh, finds way? its Louie? way to your Louie? door. Louie? His name is Louie. <laughs> you guessed it right. Good job, Maze. Yeah, hope your season's happiness finds know, its way I to your door. Him. I have to Thank know you, him. Melina. I have I, to know him. You do know him, do you? Yeah. Is he a good dog? Yeah, I saw him before. Oh, did you see him before? Yeah, we've seen dogs like him before. 
Look at that. You guys are far away. I'm sorry. Look at that. He's holding a wreath in his mouth. He has a beautiful Christmas scarf around his neck. Oh, Louie. We'll have to tell the girl some story about Louie. What kind of hijinks and shenanigans did he get up to? Did he pull down the Christmas tree? Was he sitting under the mistletoe to kiss people walking by? What was he doing? Making a snowman outside. Guess what? What? He broke the snowman outside. He broke the snowman. Yeah. Oh, for heavens to Betsy. Yeah, well, yeah, we, I was at Grammy's. At Grammy's house, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Melina. This is awesome. We will make up a story about him. Louie. May's named him. Perfect. Perfect. And it's all full of festive colors and everything. Uh, oh, I love it. Love it. I'm just feeling even more and more Christmassy uh, the more I see things like this. And um, yeah, there's a little note in here. I will, I will uh, read it after. I want to sit and read it now, but I will read it after. And yeah, I'm going to keep your envelope so I have your address. i got to double check all the addresses that I have. I'm a slacker. It's still not the end of the month, though. But I was hoping to get all my Christmas cards out in November. I'll probably do it next week, though. So hopefully it'll reach all the way to Kentucky. I think it's Kentucky. K-Y. Hayden K-Y. Is that Kentucky? That's what I think. Um, yes. I would love to visit your part of the world. Absolutely. I've been watching so many um, documentaries and just people from places all over the world. I want to visit the whole world. If I could have a job as a world traveler, oh my goodness, I would share it all with you guys. Can you imagine a bumpkin traveling the world? What kind of version that would be? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that's awesome. Awesome. Mm. I might, I should have made this in a pot because yeah, I could down that, that sucker. This one is from really far away. Kentucky is super far away. This is really far away too. This is all the way from Ireland. Ireland, what? That's part of my ancestral background. I would love to visit Ireland. My mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, brother and sister, another sister-in-law all went there on a vacation a couple of years ago. And they said it was magical. Magical. I would love to go there someday. I absolutely would love to go there someday. I would just bumble around in hostels. Well, I would say I'd like to hitchhike, but that wouldn't be very safe. But I would just love to see that part of the world. Would love to. Oh, all the way. But look at the stamp. It's like a, is it a crane? Does it say... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it doesn't show your address on the front. Look at that. How awesome. And on the back is her address, but she has a sticker there, too. Fan freaking tastic. Oh. Christmas greetings from Cork. Oh, my. Look at the front of this. You know, when I saw Louie. I'm assuming cork must be, is, am I saying that right? Is it cork or is that an N? I said that. I think it's cork. Yeah. Mays, don't do that. Pro produced in Ireland on paper manufactured from trees grown in a sustain sustainable forests. Mays, you're going to have to be banished if you're not going to listen. Oh, there's a nice letter in here. I can't wait to wait to read it. Oh, I don't know what that, there must be something maybe in Gaelic written there. Oh, pronounced. Mm. Nalik Hana. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Happy Christmas in Irish. I might be totally butchering that. I'm sorry. N, it looks like N-A-L-L-I-Q. H-U-N-N-A is how she wrote how it's pronounced. Hana. Yeah. And there's a little note here, but the card says, wishing you a very happy Christmas and best wishes for the new year. Maze, you better not knock my tea over or I'm going to have a conniption. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will. I will. But... Look at that. 
And then on the inside, I don't want to show her personal card, but I, I got to stand up, Maze, because these guys are too far away. Can I see? Yeah, just a second. Look at those beautiful butterflies. Those are stickers. I think they're stickers she added on. And they have the sparkles inside. on them. Sparkles the on them and everything. I want to see the inside. You can see the inside. Just a minute, bub. Just a minute. See? Oh. Wow. This is from Katerina. Uh, here in, yeah, Cork in Southern Ireland. Wow. Oh, Katerina. If I'm ever on a life journey, uh. I'm going to invite you for a cup of tea somewhere out on the highlands or something like that or I'll, I'll come crashing at your door to say hi thank you for the card <laughs> i wouldn't impose i wouldn't impose i wouldn't just show up that's for sure but <laughs> wow that's beautiful and on the front she put a butterfly sticker too and it's sparkly Can I see? that's awesome this yeah. looks like one of those post office posts that you could just stick your letter in when I was in Spain back in 2010 with Medea when we went to La Tomatina, uh, they had like those little post office things in the street, but they were red, I think. They don't have these around here. Um, yeah, that's awesome. So one right from your local area where you're from. I'm going to look that up on the map for sure. Okay. I want to show this to Dad because he's so interested when... You guys send me mail. You absolutely don't have to send me mail, but he always call. He'll give me a call later and ask, "Oh, what? Where did these ones come from?" I mean, he knew where these ones were coming from, but to know, uh, he's a geography buff kind of thing, and he likes to uh, he likes to see on the map where you guys are from. So that'll be really cool because part of his family is from Ireland too. So that's great. So. All right, this one is from Alice K from Detroit, Michigan. Wowzers, Please. you guys are all from so far away. Well, just know you have a home. You have a slice of Nova Scotia with you, Maze. You're just wiggling, wiggling on my leg. Mmm. I'm going to let you drink a tea. Yeah, I don't think I showed you guys. I got to turn that potato pot down. I forgot to tell you where this. He bought his friend Bone China Windsor made in England. I gotta go turn that down. Oh, it's starting to bubble over. There. Bone China Windsor made in England. What? Yeah, and her little saucer. I'm doing everything ours backwards now. She's all rimmed right around here with gold. Yeah, go. And again. Like, are those roses? I don't know. Can you see what those are? They're so dark. But it's perfect for November. Can I see? Perfect for November. What color would you say that is, Maze? Uh, black. Oh, it looks black, yeah. But then there's tinges of red and a little bit of white. Red, black. Mm. She's pretty, though, isn't she? Yeah. What kind of music do you think she likes to listen to? Uh, yum. What kind? Yeah, it's a, it's a French one. Oh, it's a French one, yeah. These guys, I have French kids. It's funny because I don't speak French at all. But these guys know French. He hasn't gone to French immersion yet, but the girls all speak French sometimes. I so, just know some. You know some, yeah. You'll know a whole bunch when you start going to... La la la. Some big, big school, yeah. <laughs> is that a French one? Uh, well, I don't know. But this one is from Alice, Alice Kids. Is that the one? I don't know, Maze. I, I'm not a French person, but I really like French. But she has an envelope that has a picture right on the envelope. Do you see that? She looks like, um, I don't know, an angel or a fairy or some sort of, um, yeah, just a, a natural person. Uh, chinning. Chinning a reindeer. Chinning a reindeer. Reindeers are from Finland, which is another part of my my background and she has a sticker on the back awesome Alice I love the name Alice I really do it's probably because I love Alice in Wonderland but Alice is such a cool name I love it this is the potato the knife I cut 
Ooh, I look menacing, don't I? This is a big old sharp knife. I The potatoes I had had a few eyes on them. I had to cut them off. I rinsed it off, but this is the knife I used to cut the eyes off my potatoes before I boiled them. I'm boiling them with the skins on them and then I'm gonna peel them after. Yeah. Cut them up and fry them with some butter and onions. Are you gonna eat that maize? No. Yeah, he says that now. Oh, this is some more in detail. I love this picture. I gotta stand up, Maze. You gotta get off here. If you want a chair, bring that chair over. No. Yes. It, uh, she's absolutely lovely. Almost looks like she has wings. Do you see that? She reminds me of the, the witch in the woods of uh, Lord of the Rings. The beautiful, beautiful, I forget what her name is. She's a famous actress in Lord of the Rings part two, maybe part three too. But she's just cherishing a reindeer. Look at that. I love this picture. Love this picture. I do. There's a writing ah! on the back of it. Oh, watch out, Maze. Ah, uh, brighten everyone's future. Ah! Living sustainably means realizing small choices can have big impact. When you choose tree free, you're helping us save trees and doing so much more. You're supporting the USA made products and lowering your carbon footprint. You'll keep chlorine out of our rivers, greenhouses, re greenhouse gases out of our atmosphere and diverting waste from our landfills. Gentle kindness. Oh, this is lovely, lovely. Uh, I'm oh. assuming when you buy these cards, they help support organizations and so societies that uh, do that sort of thing. And it has another big picture on the inside. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The card actually says, may the coming year be equal parts of gentle and kind. Wow. What powerful words. Powerful words. Absolutely. Yes, your friends, Alice, Laura, Janelle, Linda, the Kitts family with a heart. There's a little note up there at the top, but this is beautiful, all the way from Detroit. Oh, thank you, Alice. Thank you so much. Really, really. See the little paragraph on the back? Hopefully you can hear me over this little squawk box over here. Maze, you need to turn it down a notch. But she did send another card. Oh, there it is, a card. Oh, it's calm. Here's an, another one. All is calm. <laughs> oh, I wish everything was all calm. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that town. Now we can make a story out of this. We can absolutely absolutely make a story out of this a magical story out of this one this is a sleepy hollow i don't mean sleepy hollow like halloween but a sleepy village kind of like ours and our village has a church it has a couple churches that has big old steeples um and all the goings ons around there yes yes oh fantastic and one of the houses kind of looks like ours oh, maze you gotta get off my leg, huh? Can I see? I'll bring a I'll bring a chair over for you. No! Yes! Look at that house right there. Did I know it's kind of a glare. Why? Good. Well, you can sit right on the uh, right beside me. He'll be able to see ya. Here, I'll move over. Look, look in the look in the camera. Look, you can be right up there and have a whole share the whole scene with me. No! All right, well, skedaddle then. I'm not gonna fight with you. Uh, again, from Alice Can and Laura, Janelle, and Linda, like the Kitts family. This card says, wishing you a beautiful Mama, holiday like season. That looks, like our house, that looks like our house, kind of. See the little attic window up there? Yeah. Wishing you a beautiful holiday season and a new year of peace and happiness. <coughs> well, I hope the same to you, Alice. I really do. I really, really do. Oh, no, this is to Papa. This card is to Papa. Oh, dear Papa. She didn't seal it, so I can put it back in there. So this card is for us. Awesome. This card is for Papa. And it says it right on the freaking front. What is wrong with me? I didn't even see it. But I will make sure that he gets this, Alice. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. He's going to love that. 
he always puts any Christmas cards he gets Boom. Boom. around his living room door door frame. When he gets some up there, I'll make sure I take a picture and share it with you guys. It's still a little early, but I will give that to him, and he'll be tickled pink. He really will be, because he gets such a kick out of he He didn't know the realm of YouTube. He didn't really know what it is. He doesn't even really watch it now, but he he's just, like, amazed by all the friends that we have and Mace, you're gonna have to pick all that stuff up no. and he knows you're all good people and beautiful people and yeah he'll be tickled pink by, by that for sure sorry I didn't even read the front of it goodness sakes because that envelope has a picture on the front of it too I just seem to skim right over that <laughs> but I'm gonna have to take some more room off my phone I think I'm running out of space. I need to sit down and do that. It's just so tickled, or not tickled, so frustrating about trying to get uh, my computer to work when I edit things. Maze, don't do that, hon. This one's from my friend Catherine H. from Mill okay. Village, Nova Scotia. Mill Village, oh, where is Mill Village? I'll have to look that up. I should have asked Dad, for goodness sakes. Well, when, uh, my husband picked up Maze. He picked up uh, uh, the mail yesterday, so that's probably, he wouldn't have thought to ask. Mill Village. Catherine, I think I heard from you before. Oh, I'll have to look that up. But I got a package from Catherine. Maze, leave my old tea bag alone. That needs to go in the compost. Help stand out. The compost is over there on the counter by Cornelius. Ooh, oh my goodness activity box enjoy she has it written right on the lid here there's a nice long letter here and look I don't want to show you the letter but she has a sticker up there it must have been stuck up here I'm thinking it must have been stuck up there oh my goodness this will be just perfect timing Catherine because today which will be in tomorrow's video the potato baloney video I want to get the kids to make the cards and stuff for that senior we adopted this is an activity thing look some ribbons that say ho 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 how festive you could put it around the edges of things that'll be perfect oh my goodness Tracy yeah. for you to use when you when and where you choose oh Look at this. I'm going to use this for, I could use this for my sister or my brother. Yeah, my sister and my brother. There's two here. Look at these. They know that my kids see Grammy and butterflies that fly around. Look at those. And she made these. Her name's on the back of them. They're like, well, you can see they're like 3D. Oh my goodness. I'm going to send these two. One for my sister Carrie, one for my brother Josh, or vice versa. Absolutely. This is beautiful, Catherine. With the butterfly, so there's a touch of mom in these cards. This is going to be fantastic. The colorful, just the beautiful backgrounds. There's little, not sparkles, but little things there. And there's some of those on here, but then there's some big white beads there. Oh my goodness. I love these. Love these. She even included the envelopes. I'm sending these. I'm sending these. Absolutely. They're going to love them. <clears throat> and you made them with love. You made these. Yeah, her name, her, uh, she wrote her name. Homemade Just For You by Catherine H. Down on the back. Love them. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh. I'm tickled pink by these. For you guys to... Well, you guys are so... So many of you are so crafty. I am not crafty. I wish I was. <laughs> I try sometimes, but <clears throat> I'm not one of those crafty people, but 
there's a talent that you guys have right in your blood. You know how to do it. And you make it look so fancy and perfect. Those, if you were to pay for those at a craft store or a flea market or something like that, you know, you can tell the determination and the passion that was put into something like that. There's some more of those like little white bead things that are on one of the cards. There's a whole bunch of envelopes. There must be things in here. I, I'm using this stuff today. Using this stuff today, which will be in tomorrow's video. Look at it, these sticker. You're not going to be able to see them all. But there's sparkly green stickers, blue stickers, gold stickers, uh, silver stickers, festive stickers. And they're all like stars and hearts and baubles and things. When they make cards for the senior that we adopted, that's going to be on the table. What are you doing, Mace? Okay. I see. I see. Here's like a ledger thing. I, I don't know. Me. I'll have to read the letter. Did you read see the me? letter, what she Did has in store me? for that. Did you see me? Oh, I felt you. This is all like scrapbooking stuff. But did you see me? <clears throat> no, I didn't. No. I mean in the camera. Oh, I don't know. They might have seen the top of your head. Yeah. These are sticky already. Oh, yeah. These are stickers, like scrapbook stickers. Holiday ones. All going on the table today. We're going to make a big old mess. Oh, my goodness. So stay tuned for tomorrow. You'll see that big old mess. It is 12.17. The girls will be home around 1-ish. Is that trick funny? Yes. You poked me with that. <laughs> these are little, I think they have little stickers on. Yeah, these are stickers too. There's little um, Santa Clauses and reindeers. These are going to be the best cards ever, Maze. <clears throat> Scarves, reindeers, and Christmas trees, and little Christmas sayings. Oh, look. This could not have come at a more perfect time. Honestly, I mean, there's going to be lots of leftovers after we do, uh, after we do the crafts and stuff today, for the rest of the month, because I'd like for the kids to be able to do crafts. I'll clear off that dining room table and just have a craft basket, craft caddy there, that they can make a mess of every day. Um, yeah, that's what I'll do. Here's some more stickers. Oh, Catherine, you must be a, you must be a. A crafter. May the magic of Again. Christmas shine in your heart. You season three. Again. Transparent stickers. I did it again. You did. Yes, you did. Did you see me that time? I, was... I could feel ya. Little snowman things. It, you, A whole pile it, of them. You must have not seen me in that one because you, you, you didn't see me that much. No. No. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. These are some of those 3D stickers, but there's sparkles in them, like they're they're hollow, so the little sprinkles shake in them. Isn't that cool, Maze? Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna make crafts with the girls today? Yeah. <clears throat> I hope so. <clears throat> I I can't wait to read your letter. I really can't. Oh, I see a a list of prepper supplies. Look. Well, guess what? Or, I tricked Misa before. I was, yeah, listed. I was, behind, I was in the Saturday. YouTube behind, suggestions or something there too. Do, 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 do. Look at those. Mm -hmm. The what? kids are going to have a blast because I only had paint and markers. Yeah, I didn't get any sprinkles. I didn't get any pipe cleaners. Yeah, so this is. You must have been, you know, right here. You knew. Some crayons. Some like uh, scrapboard paper. There's a whole pad of this kind of paper. I'm thinking that they're all the same kind. Oh no, they're not. <laughs> There's different ones. They can cut shapes out of or whatever. Oh, I need to have a perfect basket for this stuff. Well, I know what I have up in the attic. I probably don't have time to do that. Did you see me um, when you look behind? Look at this. Did you see Those me little when orange you look wood boxes. No, I didn't, hun. 
that oh, washi tape stuff, Christmas what stuff. Oh my goodness. That totally one you done did, it. did you even see you one? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Some double sided tape. Yes. Some more of that, and I think this is stickers, like just plain color stickers so the kids could stick this on, put another little sticker over top of it. Some more washi tape. And butterfly stickers, paper butterflies. Paper butterflies. The kids are gonna love that. We're gonna add some of those to the Christmas cards we make for this guy for sure. And then there's a whole bunch of big paper. Uh, how do I open this? Yes, there's silver, gold, silver and gold, but they all have different designs on them. They're like shiny. Oh my gosh. Did you see I was me? not expecting this. Mom, did you see me? Magic did you see potion me? ingredients, premium quality. Did you see me? What, hun? When I was... Yes. There's... What? All sand... Watch out for my tea, hun. How did you see me? In the camera. There's all print-offs here. And then there's a sample one that they would cut out and assemble together. And make a little box. Magic potion. Oh, I love this. We do like a bit of magic in our life. Yes, we do. We absolutely do. I always try to tickle the imagination of my kids. And it's very light pencil. But she wrote down how to do it. Stuff. Are your hands getting itchy, Maze? Yeah. Yeah, you go up and get some socks, okay? No. Do you need some itch medicine? Yeah, sure. Okay, just a minute. Just a minute. That's great, great. I don't know what this is. This is like a tabletop color thing. Ocean, <coughs> ocean drought dwellers, octopus, stingray, great white shark, seal, uh, seashell shades. Maps and mazes and games that they can, I could lay right on the table. I'd do this with maybe Misha and Maze and they could color it however the heck they want to color it. They want it too. Oh no, it's a big one. It's, uh, Messiah and Misha could do it. Look at that. And me. There's a scallop. And me too. And you could do it too. Everybody. In Everybody the world. can do it. Everybody in the world. Everyone in the world? Yeah. Oh boy. They could just put a dot on it if it was everybody. Oh, look at this maze. Uh, do you know who that is? Do you remember what his name is? Louie. It's not Pluto, it's Snoopy. Oh. Snoopy from uh, um, Charlie Brown. You remember Some print offs of Snoopy. Been, you remember the one that did it like one of the potions? Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember. It's Sally. It's oh. Sally. Oh, is it? Okay, okay. All right, all right. Oh, thank you, Catherine. You really didn't have to do that. I'm going to totally read this. Read this. Yeah, I see some channels that she had mentioned. Jane All Zero. I do follow him. He's really good. Uh, yeah, there's these Linda's Pantry. I've seen her before. Yeah. I'm going to check out some of these channels that you suggested. Absolutely. The kids are going to love this. I'm going to totally set this up today. I was hoping to do it before the kids got home, but probably not. Maybe we'll do it later on after the kids have supper and stuff and make an evening out of it because I don't think I'll have enough time to do this when they first get home which I initially was planning but things just got a little sideways but that's okay I'm gonna stop for a minute so I can get him settled with some itch medicine I know bub I know I know I'm gonna help you but this is fantastic this adds such pizzazz pizzazz yes and I will make sure this gets to Papa. Oh, that, yeah, that, um, that goes with Alice's, yeah. And the cards, I'm wonderful, and I'll be right back shortly. I need to get Maze taken care of. I'm going to finish my swig of tea, and then we'll open the rest of the mail. 
all right guys he's settled for now I'm just talking to Medea Evie is supposed to come over she works at two but I guess his daddy's in from fishing so we're trying to get a hold of him it's up in the air but um, I shut the potatoes off because they're pretty well done my teas not hot like it used to be but I have a couple other parcels and I don't remember ordering this I don't know if it's from you guys I have no idea but I wouldn't have ordered something from Amazon and got it sent to dad's house or dad's P.O. box so mm, I don't know I can't say who it's from yet until I open it up let's see a gift for you look at this keep your keep your gift a surprise unwrap your present before opening this envelope okay I'm glad I read that before I <laughs> opened it up look at this bag I don't know if this is from one of you guys or not love your channel and especially your tea time reminds me of going down home. Thought it was a pr a pr as pretty as a picture. Have tea for me from Carrie Ann. Carrie Ann, what is this? This is a beautiful bag too. Oh my goodness gracious. Wrapped in a fancy ribbon and everything. Wowzer dowser. Let's see. I don't want to break it. Let's see here. There's a box in here. Look at this. I know people, if they order stuff from Amazon, you can send it to whatever address you want. So I'm assuming that's what... I have another one over there like this too. Look at this. What the heck is this? Then I'll open that envelope after to see what it has to say. What? Oh, I don't want to break it. Oh, I'm opening it the wrong way. Oh my goodness. Look, right at the top, there's a thing here. Look at this. It's solid too. It's not like a little rinky dink cheapy one from the DS. Look at that flower on top. There's a gemstone. A gemstone in it on the front and the back. Oh my goodness. She's from a ballroom. A little teeny tiny spoon. Wow. Oh. Goodness gracious. I have never, ever seen a teacup like this before. Ever. Ever. And this isn't plastic. This is hardcore metal of some sort. There's like a flower bent over like that. And that's like the little bud of the flower. And look around there. This is heavy. This is really quite heavy. And then down at the bottom, oh my goodness, she's going to be ritzing up my china cabinet. Yes, she is. Oh my goodness, flowers on the front and on the back. Bottom is clear. Oh, wow. And then they have the little teaspoon in there. And that is a teaspoon. That's a little teeny tiny spoon. That is gorgeous. This reminds me of, this is the teacup that fairy in, uh, was it Alice's card? Let me look. Yeah, Alice's card. This is the teacup she would be drinking out of. Absolutely. And I'll make a big story with the kids about this. Yeah, she's the caretaker of Santa's reindeer. Uh, not that he hired her, but she's just a natural caretaker. Wow. This is beautiful. I can't wait. Cannot wait. I might not even use her for tea. I might use her for like hot apple cider or something like that this Christmas. And have some hot apple cider in her. And uh, yeah, have a nice cozy 
chit chat with you guys by the fire. That would be perfect. Wow, and then on in here, she comes with her own little polishing cloth, one that you clean glasses with. And here is like a rubbery doily. I don't know if that would just go on the bottom or would it go inside so the teaspoon doesn't scratch it? I'm not sure. Oh my lordy lordy, Carrie Ann. This is beautiful. Beautiful. I've never had a teacup like this ever. Never even seen a teacup like this before. This is beautiful. And I just love the edge. I know the can't, like my phone's not picking it up. But it's like one of these flower petals bent over around there. That magical. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I love it. I'm going to cherish this. And when I have a nice hot cup of apple cider, I'm going to warm it on the stove because I want to do that with all the kids sometime over the December. And uh, this is what I'm drinking out of. <laughs> yes, I am. It'll be nice and cinnamony and cidery and magical. And we'll tell the story of this lady of the woods who she helped Santa in her own way. And I got this cup. I got this cup to go along with her. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. So the... To keep your gift as a surprise and wrap. So what is in here? A gift note from Carrie Ann. Love your channel and especially your tea time reminds me of going down home. Thought it was pretty as a picture. Have a tea time. Have tea for me. And then, yeah, that's just what was written on the inside of the card and just my address and stuff like that. So, oh, Carrie Ann. And you spell your name like my sister does. <laughs> that's how she spells it. K-E-R-R-I. Thank you so much. I love this. Love this. I was not expecting that at all. I'll have to put her back in this box for now and just bring her out on special occasions so the kids will get a good kick out of it too. Um, and they'll know that it's uh, a magic one. You're playing a game? Guns. Oh, are you? Well, you be careful. Don't shoot your eye out like Ralphie. <laughs> oh, wow. It makes me want to have apple cider today, but I don't have the stuff to do it. Oh. You know, I have one more. And again, it's one of those Amazon ones. I don't know who it's from. We'll see. Yeah, this is stone cold now. It really is. It is 12.39. This is going to be a long video unless I break it up. kids will love this bubble wrap it's funny don't believe me but it's true they love bubble wrap oh there's a bunch of stuff in here crystal little beads and oh for headbands I was thinking it has wire but it has headband you can see the shape of the headband my girls wear headbands to school they can make their own stinking headband they are going to love this Mazaya especially Misha, too. Mallory will be like, ah, she'll like it. She'll like making it, but she doesn't like wearing headbands, even though she wears them a lot of the time. She likes plain, plain ones, but this is perfect. You must have noticed them wear those on, uh, on my videos. They wear headbands all the time. That's fantastic. I don't know who it's from yet, though. Is there a note in here? Is there any more in front of it? I hate to just not... Amazon. It just says Amazon. Yeah, it doesn't say. Ooh, I am going to hide this away from me. Yes, I am. Look, he looky. I found a cookie. The Keurig Tim Hortons little pods. I don't know if I've had the Tim Hortons ones. I can't remember. I might have had them one time before and they were really good, but they're quite expensive. This has 30 in it. 
wow, I might share a few with my husband. Yes, I will. Or my teenager, maybe. But I am going to put them out with my little tea bag stash. Yes, I am. Wow. Thank you so much, whoever sent this to me. It doesn't have one of those envelopes in it. If you sent this to me, please comment down below and let me know. Oh, love it. Yes. <laughs> this will be gone in 30 days because I'm going to have one every single day. <laughs> I am. I'm serious. I will. That's great. Giraffes, giraffes can't dance. I know this book. I bought this book from Medea and Evie. And it's a really, really good book. It's a really good book. If you guys have kids or have grandkids or nieces and nephews that you need a book for, this is a really good one. It's all like rhyming and stuff. Uh, the chimps all did a cha-cha with a very... Latin feel and eight baboons that teamed up for a splendid Scottish Scottish reel like it's all things like that um, really good book thank you so I have one of my own I, I know Medea has it so I'll keep this one here and then Evie can play with it here what hun you want that sword down your back yeah. Turn around. this is a sword I got from Mays when I was in uh, France some castle we went to and the king wanted me to send it to Mace because he's such a cool dude. He wants it down his shirt. Thank you so much. There's another book in here, and I've heard of this book. I've seen the video online. Never read it. The Wonky Donkey. And I don't know, it was some viral video that went crazy over the internet. And it was of some Nana or Grammy that was reading it to her grandchild and was laughing her head off. The Wonky Donkey. <laughs> I can't wait to read it myself. This is perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, I wish I knew. I want to say your name, but I don't know who it's from. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. So please let me know down below or send me an email and let me know. This is this is wonderful. The kids are going to love this. They really are. I'm going to put it right in with the... You pop it. Put it on the floor and pop it. That's, didn't I say about those bubble wrap things? Jump on it. Don't go flying to the moon jumping on it, though. Woo! Anyways, I'm going to put this right in the bookcase with the Christmas books, just because they're new books and they haven't read these books. This is wonderful. Oh, there you go. Take, take it out there and do it, though. That's loud. That's loud. Okay? Perfect. Thank you. I'm going to save these for this weekend, but I'm going to use all the craft stuff I got from Catherine for today, which you'll see tomorrow, and the kids can make some headbands. It comes with little scissors in it and stuff. The kids will read these books. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. I'm gonna hold it close, and <laughs> yeah, I'll be stocked up for a month. Yes, I will. I, I might have more than one coffee a day, but I'll just have one of those per day and have one of the other ones, but that's great. I don't know if we can buy great big ones like this in, in my local area. I honestly can't recall. I re remember having a Tim Hortons pod here, but it was like a box half the side, size and I bought it 50% off. And um, it was a long time ago, long time ago. But perfect, perfect, especially over this winter when we get snowstorms and I don't want to drive anywhere so I can't get my Timmy's in the morning. So that's perfect. Thank you so much. But let me know down below. So I'm going to end this video now just because I know it's going to be super duper long and I want to start a new video now, even though it's quarter to one in the Dad, afternoon. Pop. Did you pop them all? Yeah. Well, you little turkey. Thank you. So I'm going to say Dad, peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. But I honestly cannot remember what the heck I did yesterday. I know I cooked chicken. I can't even remember. Oh, we had rice. And whatever else. We pulled through, though. We pulled through. <laughs> so, yeah. Hopefully my computer will be working now because I had technical difficulties last night. And I just, I gave up. I couldn't do it. It was so frustrating. After spending an hour just to get this stuff off, I couldn't. And I haven't touched it since, so... 
hopefully it'll work. Hopefully it'll work. And I do plan on starting, as soon as I end this video, starting a new one. So there will be a video tomorrow too. Oh, okay, that's a, a mouthful. So thank you guys all so much, so much for all your wonderful gifts and cards and stories that I'm going to be able to make up in my head and share with my kids because I love doing that, especially this time of year. I love cards anytime, but throughout the Christmas season, when it gets dark at 430 and the kids are buzzing around, I'll make up a story while I'm emptying the dishwasher and they get enthralled with stuff like that. They really do. They just, they start talking about it amongst themselves and they ramble on with it and elaborate on it and it just runs rampant and it's in a good way. It's not in a bad way. Like they just, you know, like that fairy uh, puppet's card with the house that looks like ours in it. You know, like they can make up a whole, a whole story about that. Like that's wonderful. These craft things, I feel like you're, you're sponsoring our Christmas crafts for our adopted senior. Thank you so much, Catherine. You didn't have to do that. And I know that wasn't your intention, but thank you so much. I couldn't have come on a better day. I really couldn't. So, all right, guys, I got to stop rambling. So I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Come over here, Mace. Come say goodbye. Bye. I can't see it. Bye. Boink.